Well, what's up everybody, it's John here at Metal Aviation and this is part two of our Centec 900 uh, power pack field charging video. So I'm out here in Valley City, Ohio at uh, Raw House Field, which is part of Hank's Hobby Hangar. Go out and check it out, hankshobbyhangar.com. They uh, have a nice uh, hobby shop here on site and have a flight field. The Valley City RC Flight Club flies out here and it's an awesome place to fly. This is pretty much where I fly all the time. Now they do have power out here, but still we're gonna test the the field charger or the field power pack here on site. I'm going to charge some batteries, fly them out, charge some more, and keep charging until it can't charge anymore. So I'm hoping to get at least six batteries out of this, maybe eight. If I can get around that, like I said in the first video, I'll be pretty happy and I'll probably roll with it. Even though I already paid for it, so I got to roll with it anyway. But at least, worst case scenario, I've got a jump starter for my car. So the setup we have for today is the high-tech uh, four-port charger. It can charge up to four batteries at once. And of course we have the Centec, which is going to be powering this. As you can see, we have no outside cords um, hooked up to this rig. We are on one of the flight stands and we'll be only charging from this setup from the Centec and we're gonna charge till it dies. Uh, we have all 2200 milliamp three cell batteries we'll be charging because that's basically 90% of the planes I fly use that battery. I try to keep in that range so I don't have to buy a lot of different batteries. So that's the bar I'm going to set for this because that's actually what I fly at the field. So let's go ahead and get these started and see what we come up with. Killing some time while the batteries are charging. There's close batteries. There's close other radio. There's close other plane. Hey Cliff, I got video of all your stuff there so if it gets destroyed for an insurance claim, I'm your man. <laughs> All right, I'm not sure what's going on here. Uh, this thing hit, it reset. It's basically in the in the settings as if it was just turned on. So I don't know if we still maxed out the wattage and made the uh, the power reset. But I'm gonna go ahead and reset it and see if they'll finish off. So fail number one. There's Cliff's night timber. There's Cliff's toolbox. So after powering this back on. It looks like all three batteries are pretty close to fully charged. The uh, bottom left here, you can't see with the glare, but this one's is at 12.6. My guess is it's it's balancing right now. This one's at uh, 12.48. This one's at 12.49. So I'm wondering if one of them hit the balance portion of the charging session, and that maybe caused some type of spike in. Uh, and wattage which reset the power supply that's just a guess but these will be done in a few minutes when they're done we'll fly a little bit put three more on and keep going there's close water bottle there's close other toolbox all right three batteries charged and we're gonna go fly one of them off i got two dead ones so we'll make one quick flight on one of these batteries that'll give us three more to charge i'll put those on we'll charge those and we'll keep going but so far so good we did have this thing cut out um one time I don't know why I'm thinking it was during the balance portion of the charging but you know I started it back up and it finished off the charge so no big deal maybe we hit a watt limit I don't know if I'm ever going to charge three at a time uh, using the Centec so I'm not too worried about that it did fully charge these still looks good so I'm hoping we can get if we can get you know another five batteries and hit that magic mark of eight I'll be pretty pumped so I'm gonna go fly and we'll get back to it All right, we have our second set of batteries on here. Three three-cell 2200 milliamp batteries directly into the Centec. Hopefully we won't have any reset issues. And I'll report back once these are done. Got it? I think so. The problem is this viewfinder screen is low resolution. You can't see this stuff in that good, but I think I got one there. All right, that's a wrap for the Centec 900 charger, and I'm going to have to say it was a fail. Not an epic fail, but a fail. We got four batteries total charged. The fourth battery I had to charge on my old school uh, balance charger just to get it charged because the high-tech four-port charger was just bombing out. It couldn't handle it. The first three batteries, we had one dropout, and after that, it charged fine. So the first three batteries went fine. After that, the, the high-tech just kept getting an input volume error, which I'm guessing means it couldn't, it wasn't getting the voltage it wanted to work. So I think that four port charger may have been sucking more power than we really needed to to charge the batteries. Charging on a single charger, one battery at a time, I bet you would have got us five, possibly six batteries. I'll test that down the road. But for now, I'm gonna say the Centec, um, I do like it for the portability. I do like the fact that it has a USB port and the, the two uh, 12 volt ports. And 
that for the price of $65 is enough for me to keep this in my arsenal to use when I want to go fly. If I bring four batteries and can charge four flying eight batteries, that's plenty. Um, but I was really hoping to get more. And remember, those are three cell 2200 milliamp batteries. If you want to charge larger batteries, then you're going to get less. So I'll, I'll do an update video on this um, at the field one day charging individual batteries one at a time and see what we get. But for now, that's what we got four batteries is it worth it to you you make that decision it's worth it to me to have it around and possibly use it when you know when i'm out going out somewhere that i need to charge a few batteries i know it's going to work and then i don't need to use it the next day because that 30 hour recharge time is a killer but that's what i came up with four batteries centec 900 and that's going to do for this video uh, i want to thank everybody for watching make sure you like subscribe like the videos subscribe to the channel rock the bells to get the notifications and i'll see you on the next video Peace.